It all starts Thanksgiving Day at 6 p.m. on SoapNet. Did you finally get him to sleep? Sure, it wasn't any problem. <laughs> you are incredible, Mary Ryan. I don't know, you just have a way with him. I don't know how you do it. You know, I get so crazy and he's so fussy. Oh, he's a good baby. It was way past his bedtime, after all. Well, I know, but, you know, I just thought I would let him stay up and he could play with your mother before she went back to the hospital. You know, I really thought that would be good for her. I'm sure it was. <laughs> oh, look at me. I can't even keep this brush steady. Why isn't the hospital calling? They have nothing more to say to Miss D. Ed Coleridge told Mother and Da that he'd have some news tomorrow. Well, what about the medicine? Isn't it curing the pneumonia? Well, we've got to give it time. It's too soon to tell. I'm sure by tomorrow Ed will have some good news for us. Mary, this waiting is really awful. I know it is, but there's nothing else we can do. You know, today I thought I was going to go crazy and I had to get out of the house. So I went out and I did something. Where'd you go? I went shopping. No, wait, sit. Sit right there. I'll be right back. I got something for you. Oh. Now, look, I know you don't like strong perfume, but I think you're really going to like this. It's a nice light cologne, and it's perfect for some. Oh, Dee, thank you. I just wanted to let you know that I'm really sorry if I upset you. You didn't have to do this. You know, I really wish I was as, as in control as all of you are. I wish I was strong and I could think positively, but I really just can't. I'm very scared. I get panicky inside, and I, I can't pretend I just let it out. I understand that. I really do. You know, I really don't blame you for slapping me. I know you're as worried about Frank as I am. My getting hysterical really doesn't help things. Well, we all react differently under stress. I should have been more patient with you. Mmm. <laughs> oh, nice. put some on. It's really nice, and I tested it in the store. Oh, dear, it was so sweet of you to give this to me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'll get it. Hello, Vanilla. Hi, Ryan. Your dad told me you were home. Come on in. You met Dilly at the hospital, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. I, I'm very sorry about your husband. Thank you. Uh, how about going out for a while? Oh, thanks, Jack. But I don't think so. Not oh, tonight. no, look. You don't have to stay on my account. Well, I want to be here in case the hospital calls. But you said that they wouldn't call tonight. You, you can uh, give me about a half hour, can't you? No, no, go, go on. Go on. All right. Maybe a good, lively argument is just what I need. <laughs> I won't be long, Dee. OK. Have fun. Black T-shirt. Where should I park it? Black T-shirt Friday at Jason Morgan General Hospital Marathon. This Friday, starting at 7 on SoapNet. She's going to come after everyone we love. Vivian's out for revenge. Maggie left without telling anybody something's really, really wrong. Now will Maggie be caught in her web and be buried alive? Soon you won't even be able to remember your name. Watch Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. Go to SoapNet.com to sign up for the weekly SoapNet newsletter, the source for all the latest soap news. Enjoy a weekly email with links to photo galleries of your favorite stars, cast comings and goings, storyline sneak peeks, fun quizzes, and the scoop on special events. Sign up now at SoapNet.com. You know how it is. You look in the mirror one day and you go, how am I going to lose this weight? E-Diet's Meal Delivery from eDiets.com. It's the easiest, smartest, most delicious way to eat great and finally lose the weight. I know you're thinking, eat great and lose weight? Really? Really. You'll love the food. There's no MSG, 
no fake sugars. The food tastes fantastic. It's awesome. Very delicious. It tastes wonderful. Call now or go to eDiets.com. Choose from over 100 fresh prepared meals, not dehydrated diet food, but really delicious food. eDiets will deliver your favorite meals and snacks in a chill, fresh container. All you have to do is relax, enjoy, and eat great all the way to slim. I lost 115 pounds. 65 pounds. 25 pounds. 94 pounds. Along the way, eDiets.com gives you real support. Terrific online tools, access to registered dietitians and trainers, and friends who care about your success. They're there with you to hold your hand, and they really care. Truthfully, I like everything about eDiets. I've lost 30 pounds. All of a sudden, I find myself a changed person. Hey, I made it to 50 pounds, and look at me now, I'm 60 pounds. Millions of people have turned eDiets.com to lose the weight. Now it's your turn. Call or go to eDiets.com and sign up for seven full days of meals, three meals per day, fresh prepared just for you, plus snacks. So don't wait. Join eDiets. Eat great food and lose weight fast. I believe that eDiets can change people's lives. My husband will often say, you're the hot wife. That's just boosted my confidence a lot. eDiets has changed my life forever. Call to find out how you can get one week of meals absolutely free. That's right. One week of fresh prepared food. One week of weight loss. One week of success. Free. Free? What are you waiting for? Call or go online to get started now. Call 1-800-279-1604 or visit eDiets.com now. I guess so. It seemed more like 20 minutes than uh, four hours. <laughs> I really don't know how you do it. I am working such a long stretch like that. I can't be helped when you're an intern. 24 hours? Nobody should have to do that then. Well, they tell me I'll get used to it after a while. <laughs> I've had some coffee. No, I'll get some over at the hospital. You're not going now. Yep. <clears throat> Gotta be there in 15 minutes. Look, um, I've been waiting to talk to you. I really wanted to talk to you while there was no one else around. Uh, where are Mother and Dad? Downstairs. They just got back from the hospital a little while ago. They said Frank's still in the same condition. Pat, when are we gonna know something? This is unbearable, just waiting. We just gotta be patient, Dee. I don't know what else to tell you. What, a, what about little John? <laughs> oh, we'll go back to sleep. He just wants company. Oh, so why don't you bring him out? Oh, no, no, he's overtired. We'll let him sleep. There, you see? Nothing to it. Okay, I guess I'll head on over to the hospital. Uh, look, uh, don't go, really. You got 15 minutes and I, I really want to talk with you. Okay, dude. Well, did you find out anything about uh, Frank from Bob? Find out what? Well, did you find out if anybody hurt Frank? And well, did you ask him? <laughs> Dee, it's nothing for you to worry about. I'm right. Uh, Bob doesn't think it was just an accident, does he? <laughs> I didn't say that. You didn't say that, but I can see it on your face, Pat. Oh, Dee, I don't know what Bob thinks. Well, did you ask him? Pat, you promised me that you would ask him. I tried to find out, but they didn't want to talk about it. Who's they? Bob and Mary. Well, why didn't they tell you? I don't know. I know. I know. They, they know something, and they just don't want to tell me. They know somebody is trying to hurt Frank, and they just are trying to protect me. Dee, you're jumping to conclusions. Now, if they had any concrete information, why would they keep it from me? I think the reason they didn't want to talk about it is that Bob doesn't want to speculate. And Mary just finds it too painful to think about. That means that they suspect someone, doesn't it? It doesn't mean anything of the kind. They're protecting me. I, they don't want to frighten me. Somehow, Pat, I don't know, that makes me even more scared. Nobody's trying to hide anything from you. Am I gonna lose Frank? Look, um, I don't, I don't understand what's happening with him physically. I know pneumonia is very serious, Pat. It's serious, yes. But Frank was in great condition before the accident. I'm counting on his stamina to pull him through. Well, you might be able to cure the pneumonia, but, uh, 
Wouldn't he be paralyzed in the fall? I mean, he could, he could be helpless for life. We don't know yet. Uh, I've seen some miraculous recoveries. I haven't given up hope for Frank. Then I won't either. Be because I, I, I really trust you. Do you know, I trust you more than anybody in the whole world. Do you, uh, want to go to the hospital with me now? No, no, I have to uh, take care of little John. Okay. Um, please don't go. You know, I really feel much better when you're with me. <laughs> Dee, I'm on duty. I have to go. But I'll call you if there's any change. Okay. And if you, you talk to Bob and Mary, you'll tell me, okay? Sure, Dee. Yeah. Sure. Listen, uh, I'm glad you like cheesecake, but that stuff was pretty awful. One of these days, I'll, uh, I'll have Maria Pelletier bake you a cheesecake, the likes of which you've never tasted. Who's Maria Pelletier? Tony Pelletier's wife. Oh, that Maria Pelletier. They're old friends of mine. From Weehawken Street? No, nope, Mott Street. How do you know them? I used to live with them. Well, when was that? When I was 16. Where did you live before that? Orphanage of the Good Shepherd. Were both of your parents dead? Mm-hmm. They died in a fire when I was three years old. Whew. I didn't have any other relatives in this country, so uh, I wound up at the Good Shepherd. Were you happy there? Off and on. There was a nun, uh, Sister Mary Joel. She sort of acted as my surrogate mother. I loved her very much. Still do, though I don't see her often. I guess the worst time I ever had there was when they, uh, they split up the orphanage and took half my friends to the Bronx and Sister Mary Joel with them. Oh, that must have been terrible for you. Yeah, I, uh, I took it out on everybody. But there was a Father Marino. He, uh, he took charge of me, put me on the basketball court, uh, kept me there every day for hours working out the hostilities. <laughs> <laughs> He's the same one who uh, got me the job in the docks when I was 16. His uncle's a big man on the docks, Jumbo Marino. So uh, Jumbo put me to work and uh, found me a room at the Pelletieri's. Did you quit school then? Mm -mm. No, I, uh, I finished school while I lived at the Pelletieri's and worked part-time on the docks. Best time I ever had in my life. I suppose they were like a family to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Their own children were grown up and gone, so uh, they appreciated having me around. It was terrific for me. I had my own room. Oh. Come and go as I liked. Couldn't believe it was happening to me. <laughs> Made a lot of friends on the docks. Learned to drink. <laughs> chase girls. Uh, had a home to come back to every night. What more could you ask for? Well, that's what I thought. I liked the Peltieri's Bakery, too. You know, I used to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning on weekends to help Tony in the bakery. Ooh, that must have endeared <laughs> you to them. Oh, yeah. That was more appreciated than my weekly rent check. You grew up awfully early, didn't you, Jack? Oh, I guess I, uh, I learned to be independent sooner than kids with families. Do you ever think about your own parents? Very dimly. Mm -hmm. I haven't told anybody this much about myself in a long time. Haven't you? No. You have an unusual effect on me. Oh. It must be the cologne deal you gave me. I think it's a little more than that. I've been telling you about my family for days. It's nice to hear about you for a change. There's one thing you haven't told me, though. Well, what's that? Something I've been wondering about since the first day we met.
were talking about John and Natalie on One Life to Live. Marla Hipster Stewart posted on Facebook, I want to know who's the daddy of Natalie's baby. The weight is driving me crazy. Don Morrow says, I think John will be there for Natalie regardless of the paternity. Joanna Marino adds, I just hope he remembers how much he loves her and how many lies he has told her so he forgives her quickly. But Chandrika Brock says, I hope John is the father. He deserves a child. People are talking about One Life to Live weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Hey, Nancy. Great party. Oh, hey, Scott. Need any help cleaning up? No, I think I'm pretty much... Scott towels. Their long-lasting rolls come in handy for big jobs like this. Nice. Yeah, just watch. Scott towels have unique ridges that soak up everyday spills. Even faster than bounty towels. I had no idea. It's clean up. Done right. Welcome to my world. Thanks. Do you know, Scott? Scott towels are clean up. Done right. Expensive specialty products? Why go there when there's Olay Regenerous? Microscoping cream hydrates better than sun creams costing $500. And not only that... 80% of women find Olay to be a luxurious experience. Olay. Challenge what's possible. I like the whole process that eHarmony uses. It was really a nice exercise for me to get clear about what I wanted or what I was seeking in, in a man. Review all your matches for free at eHarmony.com. you're trying to keep, they're gonna take you down. I love you. <laughs> Brenda and Dante having an affair? Sonny's great love sleeps with his long-lost son? I mean, that's just fun to say. Wake up. Wake up for a minute, will you? I just want to be sure you're all right. <laughs> Faith, okay. you okay? What happened? You feel okay? Uh, not too good. Did I fall asleep? <laughs> you go back to sleep. I just want to be sure you're all right. Oh, I'll lie back. You don't have to get up. No. What time is it? It's almost 11. You can get back to sleep if you want. Hmm? Uh, Bucky, what is that terrible smell? <sighs> this was left in the smorgasbord. I put it out on the deck. Ooh, I think it's the herring. I'll have it out here in a minute. You have a hangover? I don't know. I've never had a hangover before. You feel nauseated, have a headache? No, wait, wait. I didn't until you started talking about it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you're allergic to something you ate. You couldn't have a hangover. You didn't eat that much. I don't think I, I have a hangover. I, I just think I had too much sun and not enough sleep. Hey, could I have a glass of water? Sure. Right away. <laughs> you know, I'm really worried about you. You worried about me? Why? Mm. Well, you fell asleep about an hour ago, and I couldn't get you up. I didn't know what went wrong. I mean, you didn't have that much to drink, and I didn't know whether you'd fainted or had a diabetic attack. Or... <laughs> <laughs> I never fainted in my life. I don't have diabetes. Well, I didn't know that until I talked to your brother. He said, just let you sleep it off. Tell you what? Huh? I called your brother to check on your medical history. B Bucky, you, you, you didn't really, did you? 
I was worried about you. I couldn't wake you up. You, you told Roger I'd fall asleep here? You couldn't wake me up? Oh, look, he said not to worry about it. He's not going to say anything to your father. Don't worry about I, it. I don't believe it. How, how could you do that? Well, I'm sorry. I told you I was worried about you, and I felt responsible. I mean, giving you the aqua vite when you weren't used to drinking much, and you, you were so tired. You know, I, I am just beginning to wake up enough to understand what's going on here. Why did you say you called Roger? Because I felt responsible. You, re responsible or, or, or guilty? <laughs> guilty? Why? Be because you didn't invite me over here just to have a little dinner and a little friendly conversation, did you? Oh, no, Faith, really. All I wanted was just to have a chance to relax and get to know each other. And then to add insult to injury, you call, you call my brother and you tell him about it? It wasn't like that, believe me. Oh, I bet you were really disappointed when I fell asleep. That wasn't planned till afterwards, was it? Oh, no, Faith. Now, you really got the wrong idea. Look, I admit I'm attracted to you, and if one thing had led to another, I can't honestly say that I would have put a stop to it, but gee, I never meant to get you drunk so I could seduce you. That's the absolute truth. I, I guess being friends means different things to me and you. Faith, I am sorry. Believe me, I never intended to, to compromise you in any way. I, I just don't understand you. I, 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 you know, I was really looking forward to this evening. I thought we were going to have a, a really special relationship. Well, we are, we do. Hey, look, listen. Listen, I'll make us coffee. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be OK, OK? I, it's not going to be OK. I, I feel miserable. Faith, I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. I, I'd do anything to make this evening up to you. Well, just take me home, OK? Just take me home. OK, sure, if that's what you want. Look, I'll take you home now, and you'll get a good night's sleep, and we'll talk about no, it. No, I, I don't want to talk about it ever. I, I just want to forget this, this ever happened to me. a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. No one understands motherhood better than the women of The View. Being a mother requires a sense of humor. <laughs> it has certainly prepared me in the art of negotiation. Have you ever debated a two-year-old? I sometimes feel like the mother hen on the show. It's not like having a pet. I have to make sure that they don't kill each other. That's what parenthood is, and motherhood especially. I have used timeouts on the show. It's a mom's view. It's the mother of all shows. The View, weekdays only on ABC. I don't care if I'm the official spokes candy for pretzel M&Ms. There is no way that you're putting a giant pretzel inside me. Listen, buddy, I'm not too thrilled about this either. M&M's pretzel. A crunchy pretzel inside an M&M's. When I color my hair, I want it to look natural and absolutely gorgeous. Meet L'Oreal's Healthy Look Cream Gloss Color. It goes beyond natural for gorgeous, healthy-looking color. Because this healthy is glossy with irresistible shine. This healthy is silky with rich anti-damage conditioning. No grays, no ammonia in just 10 minutes. 85% who've tried it all agree. Their hair looks healthier and feels softer. Natural never looks so beautiful. Healthy Look Cream Gloss Color, only from L'Oreal. We're worth it. Express yourself. The newest seasonal flavors are here. Express yourself. Because coffee is like the holidays. Do it. It's better when you add your flavor. Coffee Mate from Nestle. It's the week you've been waiting for. Has the jury reached a verdict? Find out who killed David. One victim, so many suspects. How do you know there isn't more to the story? It's the twist you just can't miss. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Two sisters, two DNA tests. What if this baby turns out to be Ford's? You know how much I love Brody. This week. Please let this be John's baby. Don't let it be Brody's. The wait is over. We've got the results. The truth is out. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. I can never imagine living without you. A couple's reunion is threatened by a woman hell-bent on revenge. You need to be real careful. She is going to take me and Dante down. And she's ready to expose everything. He's going to know all of it. Dante and Brenda, we're sleeping together. Watch General Hospital, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. 
Who's coming and who's going? SoapNet has the status update on your favorite stars. On One Life to Live, two soap favorites are saying so long, and two more are saying hello. You're right. Terrell Tilford and Jason Tam are leaving Landview. Take care of yourself. While Dan Gautier is returning as Kevin Buchanan. What a surprise. And Melissa Fumero is back as Adriana Kramer. I will be back before you know it. Also, you know her as Ariana from Days of Our Lives, but now Lindsay Hartley's moving on up to Pine Valley. Can I come in? Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet. I've never known you to hesitate before asking a question. I never do if it's information I need for my column. But I'm not so sure myself when it comes to personal questions. Well, if it's too personal, I reserve the right not to answer. That goes without saying. <laughs> you involved with someone right now? I take it you mean romantically. Yeah. No, I'm not. Good. I, uh, I thought maybe you uh, had something going with Bob Reed. Oh, we do. A terrific friendship that goes back practically to the day I was born. Uh, he'd, uh, he'd like it to be more, wouldn't he? Oh, I guess he thinks he would. Which means I have to be very careful, because I do love him, like another brother. And I wouldn't hurt his feelings for anything in the world. He was a part of the family long before Delia ever married Frank. Whenever he tells me to stay away from the hospital, I always get the feeling it's more than Frank's accident. He doesn't want me investigating. Well, don't take it too personally. <laughs> it's just that he has about the same amount of regard for the press as you do for the police force. Mm. If we work together on this thing, maybe we'd both learn something. Well, whether he admits it or not, he's really very grateful to you for keeping it out of the paper. I'm doing it for you, not for him. I'm grateful. And so are my parents. Hey, you said you were in the mood for a good fight. We're not even arguing. What happened? I don't know. I can't think about a thing to fight about. Have you ever been in love? I think you're asking me all of these questions to avoid telling me more about yourself. I'll tell you more about myself. What do you want to know? Tonight, my life is an open book. Well, then, how about you? Have you ever been in love? Once, that I'm sure of. Jillian. <laughs> nope. No, I, uh, I thought I was in love with her once. But looking back on it, I don't think so anymore. There was always a barrier I never could quite break through. Well, who were you in love with? Her name was Stefina Lucci. Hey. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Right after I got out of the army, she was a distant relative of the Pelletieri's. I met her at one of their big family gatherings. Fell in love with her on the spot. I suspect partly because she looked something like the image I'd always carried around with me of my mother. I wanted her to marry me. She was worried because she was eight years older than I was. At least I think that's what kept her from agreeing. I never even thought about her ages. All I knew is I had the greatest sense of well-being I'd ever known when we were together. She had a tremendous influence on me. She loved music, books. Because of her, I got started reading. We were together for two years. Then... Then, uh... One day, she told me that she was going to marry the dentist she worked for. Hey. Ryan, you all right? Mary? I'm sorry, Jack. What's wrong? I don't know. I just suddenly had... I'm sorry, but I really think I should get back to the hospital. I, I have this funny feeling that Frank needs... Oh, come on. Let's go. Frank. 
In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.